All right. Thanks, Daniel. Well, we'll be back with uh, news for seniors right after we hear from our man about town, Rich Misabni, and his reviews. El Wapo. Thank you. Rich. Thank you, boys. Take it uh, away, Rich. A couple of good shows playing around town. One right here in Annandale. Uh, a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. Uh, you remember that show with Zero Mostel? Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. they, got a, they have a guy here. Uh, he's pretty darn close, in my opinion, Jim Mitchell. He plays uh, Pseudolus uh, in a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. And, uh, you know, they've got girls and whatever and all that. And they got a real live band, too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's over there on uh, 2855 Annandale Road. And uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful show. It's Zemfira Stage, uh, put on by Zena Bleck. She is the producing director. Uh, but it's a most enjoyable show. And this guy, Jim Mitchell, uh, I didn't know him before. Pretty darn good. Uh, it, it all, unfortunately, it's only going to play through Saturday the 10th. I don't know if they can get it uh, to play longer or not, but uh, it's worth running out there to, to see this. Um, the, the phone number is 703-615-6626, or just check them out, uh, ZemfiraStage.com. Uh, <laughs> it's a good show. Um, uh, also, I want to tell you, because people ask me, I am connected with it, Second Chance Employment Services, uh, having what they call, uh, this is the eighth time, the last kiss of summer on September 15, Thursday, a big gala black tie event over at the Four Seasons Hotel. Um, and tickets are still available if interested because they help out, I should say we, help out battered and abused women to find employment. And believe me, there are people with master's degrees and other educational achievements that have been crippled because of ab abuse in marriage and otherwise. Anyway, uh, if you're still, if you're interested, uh, check them out at 202-331-7451 or look up uh, the website of uh, uh, scesnet.org. And the event is Thursday, September 15 at the Four Seasons Hotel. So it's a worthwhile way to spend some of your money because so much of it goes to the charity. Um, Theater J, uh, you all heard of Bernie Murdoff? Well, uh, you know, this uh, horrible guy who stole from everybody, uh, including charities. And uh, there's a wonderful show uh, now at Theater J. Uh, that does a lot of stuff about Jewish uh, culture. And Bernie Madoff was played by one of DC's w most well-known uh, actors, Rick Fauché. And the, his secretary in this thing is Jennifer Mendenhall. Uh, she's well-known too. And there's a guy they brought in from uh, Chicago. He's supposed to be a big name out there, I understand, Mike Nussbaum. Now the thing is, they have him like in prison but he's spending time talking in a library to his friend, this guy, uh, Mike Nussbaum, who had been in the Holocaust and whatever, and here he's going to be screwed too by uh, uh, Bernie Mur Murdoff. It's 90 minutes without any interrupt, uh, interruption at all. Uh, uh, Deb Margolin uh, uh, wrote it, and Alexandra Aaron uh, is the, uh, is the uh, director. Um, it's a gripping show. I didn't hear anybody coughing or anything at Theater J. I mean, it was, it was pretty good. Nobody That's right. Yeah, and you can tell. It's called Imagining <laughs> uh, Madoff. It's part the truth and part imagination. Uh, but it gives you a good feeling about, not a good feeling, but it gives you a good idea about this guy Madoff. Anyway, 202-518-9400. Um, uh, we'll give you information over there. Or look them up under theaterj.org. Um, and uh, finally, I want to tell you about a restaurant. You probably, maybe you all know it. You've been out to uh, Old Town on the water, the Chart House, down from Cameron Street, which is right in the heart of Old Town, one block over from King Street. On the water, you go out on the, uh, you know, on the walk out there, the boardwalk thing, and then out in the water is the Chart House. And if you get there and get a nice seat, you can sit there and overlook in the Potomac and the boats going by, and, and it's like a cheap vacation. Uh, I did that recently. They have a nice Sunday brunch and, uh, and a beautiful salad bar. Uh, I mean, you got everything you'd want on that salad bar. And the brunch, I mean, it's pretty reasonably priced, 26 bucks. And, uh, they, you know, they got lobster omelets. They've got uh, eggs benedict. They've got uh, 
prime rib and eggs and all that. Right. Oh, yeah, they got, uh, they got uh, champagne and mimosas. They got all that. It's, it's quite nice. Um, the phone number is 703-684-5080. And uh, guess what their website is? Chart-house.com. So uh, I, I can recommend that place wholeheartedly. 684-5080. That's it. Rich Masabni. Until next week. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Rich. And uh, due to our action-packed show tonight, uh, we've run out of time for uh, News for Seniors. So we'll do that uh, next week for you. But just check out uh, News for Seniors' website. And thanks to Judy Masabni of the Office of Senior Adult Programs for sending us uh, the announcements. All right. Up next on this edition of the Arlington Weekly News, Pia Somri and her guest, Pia. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, Daniel. I have a very wonderful special guest today, courtesy of my friend, Antoinette. My guest today is Tony Roy, and Tony is the founder and executive director of 105 Voices of History. Welcome, Tony. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Tell me, what is 105 Voices of History? 105 Voices of History is a national concert choir comprised of 105 students from the, 100, from the community of 105 historical black colleges and universities. We named it 105 Voices of History because of these historical institutions that are more than 125 years old and their tradition in music, but also to make America aware that there are 105 historical black colleges and universities protected by Congress. Who knew that there were that many? Most people don't know. Even people that attended HBCUs, and that's their affectionate name for historical black college, colleges and universities. Their name, they're referred to mostly as HBCUs. And I really wanted America to know that there were 105. It was a way not only to educate people that had attended those, the community, America, but students that go to historical black colleges and universities didn't know there were 105. That's great. Now everyone out there knows 105. Tell me, how did 105 Voices of History change? 105 Voices of History provides an opportunity for, st for students from each one of these universities that have a choir, and all the universities with the arts being, the budgets being cut, at university levels or across the nation, there are quite a few historical black colleges today that don't have what they call university sanctioned choirs. They do have student run choirs, but we want to have an opportunity where students from those universities, 105 of them, from different sectors and regions, et cetera, could come and study collectively with leaders from, the, from music fields at their schools and different schools to get that exposure with peers. Can you imagine sitting in the room, and I'm from Mississippi, and I'm sitting there with students from Washington, D.C., and we have a common goal for excellence. So you know what, when they get in the room, they push and push and push. And they train together. And not only that, to have faculty members that have common goals in music, to come together instead of choirs competing. They're training students collectively for tra for, with a common goal for excellence. And I wanted to make sure they had access to America's most renowned stage at the Kennedy Center and have that for a resume item. Resume item, Kennedy Center, you can't go wrong. And I see we have two more minutes left. Tell me, when will they be able to come to the Kennedy Center? When can people see them? On September 18th, 105 students will walk onto the Kennedy Center stage and sing as one voice. Excellent. And I see a flyer there, 105 voices. Let's give the date again. The date is September 18th at 5 o'clock, the Kennedy Center Concert Hall. And can anyone go? We want to make sure that this is a broad, diverse community. They will sing four genres of music. They will open up with classical, sing Negro spirituals, and then they'll go to African American and American composers, and we'll close with jazz and gospel with Jennifer Holliday, the original Dream Girls, Broadway, Stella winner, Grammy winner. You can't go wrong with this show. No. Absolutely amazing. And they also have a show coming up in January. January 22nd, for the first time in the history of America, 105 
H, uh, students from the community of 105 HBCUs will perform at the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville. Woo! And let's give a website. Website is www.hbcuchoirs105.org. And if you forget it, just Google 105 Voices of History. And what about the future? Well, we just had an opportunity to come back from Nassau, Bahamas, supported by the U.S. Ambassador that is located in the Bahamas. Fifty-five of our voices uh, joined 50 of their voices so students could train in, in culture, cross-train in culture, and see that they shared a common goal in music and the arts, but also development and leadership. Our students just don't train for the choir. We look at the, preparing the whole student, and that's in leadership, entrepreneurship, et cetera. But also, let me share with you. for life. Yes. On that stage, we give away six scholarships, a $10,000 scholarship supported by the community. So we welcome people to go to the website and donate if they would. But we look at reducing loan debt and also other debt. So for that year, if you win that scholarship, you go back where you can reduce your loan debt. What an amazing program. We're going to have to have you back to talk some more. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Thank Tony. you. Thank you, you are wonderful. Thank you. 105 Voices, check it out. And now, back to the desk. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Pia. And we are the anchors back at the desk. So uh, we appreciate your efforts. And check out 105 Voices, Voices of, of History. history. Sounds like a good time. Yeah. Or is a little history for some, a little something for everyone. That's about it, uh, it for this edition of the Arlington Weekly News. Anything else, gentlemen? No, no, it was a very nice show. Nice show. <laughs> Rich thinks it was a good show. <laughs> we hope you do, too. Yeah. And we hope you join us again for another edition of the Arlington Weekly News. Have a safe week. We'll see you then. Take Bye -bye. care. Bye-bye.